All right, let's buy some Microsoft Flight Simulator, add to cart, and then we get some Subnautica VR, add to cart, then Hitman 3, add to cart, let's add some No Man's Sky, add to cart, these are all for VR, and then Treacherous Effect, add to cart, and then we have Star Wars Squadrons, add to cart, and then we'll have Elite Dangerous, uh, add to cart. Finally, that's 11,747.80, which is around $222. So let's purchase it for myself. How do you like to pay? Visa, MasterCard. Oh, here you go. Kidney. Hello there, Rezel here. If you're reaching to play Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR but don't want to spend $60 to buy the game, and you just want to try it first since you are not sure if your PC can handle it. Well, you can actually try it just for $1 or 49 pesos with Xbox Game Pass for PC. At the Xbox homepage, there's this offer of 3 months for $1, but when I try to click on it, it defaults back to just 1 month for $1. This may be an old offer that's no longer available. And there you go, I proceeded to pay through PayPal. The good news is, it has a library of more than 400 PC titles, including 9 games you can play in VR, which is really not bad for $1. But what's the catch? Chloe, many games for one dollar! <laughs> well, this one dollar or 49 pesos is just for one month. And the succeeding months, you'll need to pay ten dollars per month at US. But here in the Philippines, we're kind of lucky because it's just 119 pesos per month. Now, considering Microsoft Flight Simulator costing around sixty dollars and drops to only around fifty-five dollars during sale, Getting the Game Pass is already worth it, just for this game alone. As for the 9 games playable in VR, we have of course Microsoft Flight Simulator which supports the hand controllers now. Getting to touch the flight controls in VR greatly adds to your immersion. Your only problem here is the game needs a beefy PC. No Man's Sky is another flight simulator game, but in space. The good thing about this is it can be played in VR and I've always been looking forward to play this. And of course, with EA Play as a package, we also have Star Wars Squadron, which I tested when I bought the cheapest HOTAS joystick, flight stick and throttle available in the market. Yeah, I did it. Which you can watch here. Another space flight simulator with VR support in Game Pass is Elite Dangerous. Think of it as a No Man's Sky game but more serious. Tetris Effect is another game that you may see as simple but once you play this in VR, it gives you this out of this world and relaxing good vibes which is close to a meditating state. Subnautica VR is like a diving simulator but in an alien underwater world where you need to craft, pilot submarines, explore, and survive. It's rebooted with one directive, to keep you alive. The Hitman trilogy has Hitman 3, which supports VR. As Agent 47, you get to use your actual hands or controllers to do the assassinations, if that's your thing. Minecraft Bedrock Edition can be played in VR. Explore randomly generated worlds and build amazing things from the simplest of homes to the grandest of castles. Play in creative mode with unlimited resources. Ark Survival Evolved is a game where you tame, train, breed, and ride dinosaurs. You'll definitely feel small beside these giant creatures. The problem here is that VR is not implemented well and you'll notice the game was only ported to VR. You'll also see some titles that should have VR support but as of this moment they are not playable in VR. They are Thumper, Dirt Rally 2, Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and Myst. 
Maybe soon VR feature will be added. Each game have different ways of launching the game in VR, and let me show you how to do it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I first launch the game at my PC, turn on my Quest headset, and connect the headset through either AirLink, Virtual Desktop, or Link Cable. Now, you will need to press Ctrl and Tab keys in your PC to activate the game's VR mode. This will run Steam VR in the background and you'll likely need to reposition yourself in the VR space by clicking the menu button of your right controller, then clicking the reset view in the headset. And there you go! I'm ready to fly in VR! Okay, I'm on a Cessna. I hope this episode helps and I appreciate if you leave a like. Thank you for watching. See you on the next. Bye-bye.